Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I haven't done a video in a while. It's just kind of shitty out and haven't had much to do. Um, pretty much got the side-by-side -side built to where I want it. You know, if I had hundreds of thousands of dollars, there'd be a couple more things I'd put on it, but I'm not rich. So, um, my battery did take a shit. Uh, the stock battery, it's about three years old. The reason it went to shit so quickly, I got so much stuff running on this car, especially at nighttime. It just killed the battery. Um, so for you guys that are wondering, should I get a different battery? Should I go dual battery system? We're kind of going to answer that to where if you don't know if you need to do this, I can kind of explain. Now, I am no expert when it comes to power watts and amps and volts and it all, even if I read about it for days, it's, it's beyond me. So we're going to do it in dummy mode to where I hope you guys can understand to where I understand. Um, what you're going to need is either a multimeter or some kind of a gauge. I have one in my car that I'll show you guys where I um, can see how many volts are going through my system. What you want when your car is running is 14 to 14.2. That's, that's the best spot for your um, battery to be at, 14 to 14.2 volts. Um, if you start seeing 14.5, 14.6, you need to start worrying. You're actually boiling your battery. Um, a reason that can happen, either your stator or your voltage regulator is starting to take a shit. Um, if your voltage regulator takes a shit, it'll just dump power. So um, that's bad. Um, another way to know if you're going to have to go to a dual battery or bigger battery <coughs> is as you start turning on your lights and your accessories and your radio, your voltage starts dropping right around 12.8 or below um, at 12.8 to 12.9 you are actually discharging your battery um, and you're telling you know you're probably looking well what's the difference if you go to a bigger battery aren't you discharging that battery yeah you are but that battery has a lot more extra stored power to keep your accessories running throughout the night um, this is an Optima an uh, Odyssey 1200 series uh, they also make an Odyssey uh, 925 series, I believe, that is damn near the same size as your factory battery. I wanted to go a little bit bigger, even though the 925 actually draws twice as much power as the factory battery. I was going a little bit bigger. Now, I could have went bigger than this, and I actually wanted to. Um, you can get the 1700 series. It's a little bit bigger than this, um, but it, the, I believe this will still fit in the factory spot, the 1200 series. The 1700 would be have to be mounted underneath the seat. Uh, the reason I didn't do that, this battery here is 40 freaking pounds. I mean, it's heavy. It's bowing the table. So um, the 1700 series, it's almost a 70 pound battery. And the side by side has a uh, plastic floor. I was honestly worried about that battery bowing the plastic floor. So this is what we're going with. This is going to give me 550 cranking amps, I believe. So it's damn near a car battery. Now, how they kick out that amount of performance, they use 99.9% .9 virgin lead and they stack it in here so tight they can get that much lead in here. Um, also, I've been reading reviews. Um, guys are getting anywhere from eight to 10 years out of this battery. There was a couple guys that are on their 11th, 12th year and the battery runs perfect, they say. So we're gonna put this in the car, see uh, what kind of volts we're pulling with everything on. Um, like I said, usually with my radio, my Rockford Fosgate radio and my uh, rugged radio and maybe charging the iPad, I'd drop down to about 13.8. Once I started throwing on front lights the rigid uh, uh rigid industry lights my um light bar and stuff my rock lights and was really drawing power i dropped the 12 12.8 12 12.9 somewhere in there and the last thing you want to do is get stranded on the trail now you heard me mention uh dual battery um the reason to go the dual battery is either Take two of these, put them in series or parallel or whatever you do. I'm Like I told you, I'm not an expert when it comes to wiring. Um, and you get double the power. Uh, another thing you can do is use one battery as your accessory battery. And the other battery will actually disconnect. So if you are sitting on the side of the trail listening to the radio and this battery dies, this battery will still be completely full to where you're not stuck on the trail. 
Um, the kits are a little expensive. Um, alone, this battery right here is $230, guys. So this is quite a big of investment, but I figured if this lasts 10 years, well worth it. So let's get it in the car and uh, we'll kind of go over the voltage and stuff and see if this will actually keep up with all my stuff. All right, guys, I got the battery in. Um, I'm going to have to find a way to uh, strap it down, so I'm going to have to make something. But it fits right there in that cubby. Um, the seat's going to press up right up against it, so I'm still going to have to find something to tie it down with as much as it's going to be jarring around. But it fits right there. I'm just going to have to find another place for my water container for my wipers. But um, it fits pretty well in there. So let's see... Uh, if it holds holds a uh, voltage when I turn everything on. All right, guys, we're in the car. Got the radio on already. Okay, we're sitting right at 14. Now we're gonna start turning things on. We'll turn the dome light on first. Rugged radio. Turn that all the way up. <clears throat> okay, windshield wipers. Still holding at 14. Okay, we'll turn the uh, headlights and uh, rigid industry lights on. Thirteen nine, and now we're gonna turn on the uh, uh, light bar. Thirteen seven. Now this is where it gets interesting, guys. Um, yes, this has a rock for Fosgate, but you're not gonna really start throwing a lot of power until the bass kicks in. So let's crank up the radio. It might be something that at night I'm not going to be able to crank the radio or I will kill my battery. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, this part of the um, video I had to cut out because of copyright. Um, I can't have the music running or YouTube flags it. But as you can see, when the bass and the treble start kicking in strongly, um, I start dropping around 13, even get into the 12 fours and stuff. So it will be discharging the battery, but um, the reason you can't hear the music, copyright. All right, guys, a little side note in the video. Um, just because I'm getting down to, you know, 12, 8, 12, 4, and I'm discharging the battery doesn't mean that, you know, it's going to happen right away. I'm going from this little tiny 10 pound battery to a battery that's twice as big, three times as good, and weighs about 30 pounds more. So I got a lot more power stored in that battery, so therefore it's gonna take a lot longer for me to discharge my battery to when I start having problems or not being able to start back up. Um, you will know that your battery is going dead. Your lights will start to go a little dim and then brighten up and dim and brighten up another big sign that your battery is about ready to die that you're discharging your battery while you're running usually during the night with all your lights on your radio on and everything is um you'll go into limp mode um your usually your power steering will stop working and you'll go in the limp mode and that's a sure sign that your battery is going to dead all you do is shut off everything um come to a complete stop let it run for about five ten minutes with all the lights off and everything to get some power back in that battery shut off your machine let it sit for about five ten seconds start it back up and it will come out of limp mode um, after that happens guys run down the trail for you know half an hour 45 minutes with just the headlights turn everything else off just use the bare necessities of what you need that night to get back to where you're going or run like that for an hour let it charge that battery up and you can usually start turning things on again um if you have the things that i have in that machine 
this is definitely not the battery to be running. That's why I went bigger, and that's probably why this battery only lasts three years. Um, usually these factory batteries last a little bit longer, so. But uh, there it is, just to recap, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. Um, if you have any questions, um, please let me know. Like I said, I'm not an expert when it comes to volts and amps and all that and the batteries and stuff like that. So my knowledge that I can give you after this video is pretty limited. All I'm just telling you is bigger is better when it comes to a battery when you're going to run a lot more stuff. It's going to give you more time, <coughs> um, power stored until you start running out of juice. If you're and what you're doing, guys, is you're you're using up what your stator can offer and after you use up what the stator can offer it starts running from the battery and you'll eventually go dead so there it is hope you enjoyed the video hope it helped again if you have any any uh insight or you want to share anything put it down in the comments so all right thanks guys